so we are getting, we are at One Stop Nutrition. Check it out. Oh, I'll try to figure it out. Do it. I can do it. Yeah. So you ever in Arizona, Tempe, Scottsdale, Arizona area, come to One Stop Nutrition and ask for the Mike Rashid shake. It's fucking bomb. It's amazing. I'm not even going to tell you the ingredients. Just ask for it. It's fucking amazing. Best shit out. So, and I got to give props. What props is doing? My boy Mars, Mars Motion. He's the one who came up with the formula for it. And it is fucking amazing. So like I said, so this is our little post meal shake. We just, uh, uh, post workout shake. We just trained, uh, it was a squat day. Um, so we just did squats and leg press, nothing, nothing crazy. So um, we're gonna enjoy a shake, chop it up, talk shop, you know what I mean? And then who knows what happens next. So y'all enjoy the ride. Everybody, it's your boy Michael Sheed. Robert Obis right here. And we're in fucking Scott, hot ass. It's winter time and it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're gonna check out our independent gym. Get a little training in. My man just won, just broke a record a couple days ago. You wanna talk about your record? I just uh, broke the American record for log press two days ago. I had pressed 460 over my head and then uh, competed for two days. So I'm a little beat up, but who can pass up training with Mike? So we're gonna try and sweat. We'll do a little something, something. Maybe grab a bite later. Uh, Definitely have a bite later. Hell yeah. I don't know about 20,000 calories, though. <laughs> so, so. Everybody <laughs> saw that video, huh? Hell yeah. Required, easy customization, and help included. This HD temp. So I was reading in a good book, and I came across a really cool scripture. Um, it's Luke chapter 11, verse 21. And it goes like this. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own house, his possessions are undisturbed. I look at that in a literal and in a figurative term. It's our obligation to prepare ourselves to be able to protect and defend our homes. Our most important home is not our physical dwellings, but it's our dwellings here, it's our body, right? We should do the things to keep it safe, to protect it. And that's why we have supplementation. Vita is the Ambrosia Collective's newest product. Since the pandemic hit and people were getting sick, people were dying left and right, we wanted to do something to step it up even another notch, to really dig our heels in and plant our flag in the ground to show that we are really here for real health, not just aesthetic purposes, but for internal health and optimizing our health from the inside out. So we present you with Vita. I am so proud of this product. You need to check it out. over here, you know, I'm trying to show him my ways, you know what I'm saying, this big ass beard I got, yep. you got the baby beard, you <laughs> know what I'm saying, growing into it, just stick with it, what you want to do is stick with it, shampoo it, shampoo, all right, all right shampoo, it. that's what it is, it'll be all good, it'll be all good, good. all right, that. that's Mike Machine knowledge right there, you know what I'm saying, knowledge, beard gang baby, strong, my man right here, he got, see, yeah, Mine? what, like the yeah. three, the that's... three wise men right here, yeah. it's, it's called a chin strap, it's called a chin strap, the chin strap, Today, I think I'm gonna, once we put any real weight on there, I'm gonna do twos and threes. Okay. And see what we can do. I I'm actually follow, don't feel as bad as I thought. I'm gonna follow you. Okay. Because okay. I'm trying to find a good balance because I used to do a lot of reps building up to heavy. And, um, yeah. and you know, I wouldn't be able to hit the heavy weight still. Yeah. And I got to a point to where I needed that. But now it's like my back gets so pumped, it, it, it ruins my squat sessions. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna follow you. I'm just trying to find a different yeah. balance of right, reps. We'll do it that way. Okay. And then, uh, if you want, after we get done, mm -hmm. we can do kind of like what I was saying. I do with shoulders and do one set of higher reps, okay. just to push a bunch of blood yeah. after we meet it up. Okay. Cool. How high do you want to get today? Whatever, bro. What's like a What's like a good fucking like? like I hit five, three of something good. Five. Five. Then yeah. Let's try for that. And then uh, I usually do a heavy burnout after that. Heavy. Yeah, like three sixty five. Okay. I haven't done it though since in about a month. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have. So it's gonna hurt. So, yeah. we'll see how it goes then. All right. Big shout out to Mark Bell. How much? How much you bench, bro? Now nah, he hooked us up with the slingshot gear. 
I mean, this shit is phenomenal. I'm a person that usually never use shit. It's like, it's made out of magic. You know what I mean? It's not even cotton or magic. It's magic. If you don't take this shit off immediately after you sit, you probably have to get your feet amputated. <laughs> shit hurts like a motherfucker. Mike's gonna do a lifetime record. Never hit this much. I'm glad to be here for this. I'm excited. Fucking, whew. This gets me excited. I'm beat because I just competed and I feel like I want to compete again because people like this working hard makes me want to work. Yeah. Can't be scared of hard way. I've never really went over 500 on a squat because I, I I go for reps, you know what I mean? So I don't know what, what I can do. So we're gonna go, what is that, 545? Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna go for a PR, you know? It's hard not to step it up when you're training with, with people like Big Rob, man. So, you know, see what I can do. Get down, bring it up, let's go. Ah. Here we go. Ah. Down and up. Ah. Get up! Easy. Ah. Ah. Easy money, oh, man. Yes, sir. I can't believe that's a PR. That's too easy. I thought I could have got two. Easy. I thought you were going to go for two. Easy money, baby. Oh. It was, great. it was fucking great. Nice. It was great. You know what? You know what I'm gonna tell y'all, man? Like, it's psychological too. Cause I didn't even think about the way I just went over there in a fucking mental rage real quick and just went. You can't hesitate. Usually, I'm sure you notice when people hesitate on right. a squat, that's when yourself. that's when it just it falls up, falls apart. Yeah. So felt good. Yeah, and we got it on Instagram, baby. Instagram. Right. Instagram. until your phone breaks down and try to do a couple more. I like to, you know, hit burnouts at the end. I like to call it fatality. A fatality set or a cardio set. <laughs> You know, so uh, basically 365 is not lightweight, you know what I mean? But after you go up in excess of 500 pounds or whatever, it feels kind of light. So it's kind of like you're tricking your body. So then you go, we go after it, after the heavy weight, and just fucking breath out, get as many as you can. That's a, that's a good work right there. So but you, you just witnessed a PR, a lifetime PR for a man who's been in the gym like an animal forever. Lifetime PR, then a 20 rep set like a beast. In one day, in one day. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. See, I train, I want to be strong. Like, you always try to get a strong, hit a stronger number. So that's why I always build up to a, a one or two rep max, right? So the heavier you can build up, the heavier you can rep out at. You know what I'm saying? So, and the heavier you rep out at, I mean, the more trauma you cause into the muscle, you break it down more, it's gonna grow back more, stronger. So it's just a huge benefit. It's kind of, it's combining like powerlifting and bodybuilding all together, you know what I mean? We did our, we did like, 
we did uh, triples, doubles, singles. Now we're going, you know, repping out at a fairly heavy weight. You know what I mean? No, that's nobody's PR, but that's no, that's no walking apart. 365 pounds is 365 pounds. Yeah. My body hates me. Yeah. Mike Rashid, what do you do for cardio? <laughs> Fatality sets. Next up is a uh, single leg leg press. I like to do single legs because sometimes pretty much everybody have imbalances, muscle imbalances. And when you isolate movements like that, you get the whatever side is weaker gets the chance to catch up to the strong, stronger side. And when you're doing single, that's the truth. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a truth teller. You know what I mean? So. When you touch on that heavy ass weight too, when you really taxing yourself, you are, that's, that's literally cardio, man. I'm telling you. Heart rate shoot straight through the roof. That a PR in squat, then hit killer reps, then come do single leg leg press. Show me one person. One person do a video like that, and then you get respect. Bring the bromance over here. Bring the bromance over here. Show me one person that competes in strongman two days in a row. Not only win it, but breaks the record, and then trains back the next day, and then the next day trains back again, and an hour later come in here hit some heavy squats. Burnouts and leg press. Name one. Name one. Yeah. We got strong crew. Romance. Hey, <laughs> let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something though. This says a lot about the company you keep. When me and when me and Dana Lynn Bailey trained, she just competed in the Olympia the day before that. Her body was fucking depleted of nutrients, you know, carbs, all, water, all of that. And she still came in and got a hardcore ass session. Now me and this guy similar situation, even more extreme. So it just goes to show the kind of company, company you keep. People that's down to fucking train and and like not ideal circumstances, those are champions, man. Like people who are comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. That's what it is. And that's what it takes to be a champion at fucking life, man. I'm telling y'all. Uncomfortable, but you're comfortable with it. That's brilliant right there. Write that down. <laughs> Two days in a row I've done back and then I came here. But when you get an opportunity to be around people that have the mentality of a fucking lion, the guy who's gonna be in here, he's gonna push no matter what, you gotta be around that, you know? I don't always get the opportunity to be around you guys. So to pass up on something like that, that's just selling myself short. I wanna be the best in the world. I gotta be around the best in the world. So that's why we're here. I had to move, play uh, date night with Kaya. We're gonna train with my man. But like he said, we're not around each other in the gym all the time, you know what I mean? You see each other in passing, he be working, I be working, now we get to get down together and that's what it's about. You'll only see me doing collabs with people I fucking respect. That's why you don't see that many. CT, DLB, my man right here, Chris Jones, and of course Big Rob, that's it. You know, you're not gonna see me with a million people. So, that's what's up. <laughs>